I swear to God, they're getting me interested in this thing with Owens and Cody. Because at first, maybe it's the bait and switch. Here came Jakara Jackson and Lash Legend to make their entrance, and suddenly Kevin Owens rolled in the ring from the other side and interrupted and had a microphone. I'm sorry to interrupt. I was told not to come here tonight. People are asking why I turned on Cody Rhodes. And I know all the wrestling fans know, but does anybody, in, in when, when friends have a fight or an argument or a disagreement or whatever, one stabs the other in the back, in public, just in normal society, does anybody say I, so-and-so turned on me? You're thinking about it. No, I've never heard that. I've never heard anyone use turning on in the regular conversation. I mean, it, it's, it used to be locker room. Yeah, we're going to have so-and-so turn on so-and-so, and then everybody in the wrestling bubble got smart. But anyway, it just, it just struck me there. I'm like, fuck, I get, you know, he's preaching to the choir here, but wouldn't it have been more natural? People are asking why I, you know, fucking stabbed Cody in the back. Something like that, that everybody would, anyway. But then Cody, oh, that's when the agents came out and they cut his microphone, which was good because if it was a shoot, they would have. So he rolled out to the desk and grabbed the headset off of who's he, what's he, and said, Cody Rhodes turned on me. People think I'm the one in the wrong for this. And again, he said, Cody Rhodes stabbed me in the back or Cody, whatever. But nevertheless, so here comes Cody taking his jacket off and Owens rolls in the ring and the agents and security get in between them. And here comes Orton out. He's trying to hold Cody. He's trying to get in front of Owens. And then as he's got Owens from behind, like, come on, come on. Owens elbowed Orton, bam, in the face. And he kind of, he sold that and he, <laughs> he spun Owens around and fucking boom and nailed him. And down went Owens, and the people started chanting, Randy. And then Owens stared at Orton, and he rolled out and left, kind of like shocked, But and Orton was in the ring appearing contrite. So I like the way they're doing this, where they, you, you haven't actually even seen the footage of the parking lot thing, unless you were on social media, but now that they've talked about it, I would think anybody that, is interested would have seen it and they're still trying to keep the idea that this is unauthorized that they're not promoting it uh, and this said it, it's a different approach for once yeah i think the cody owen stuff is interesting and i think this episode specifically made it a whole lot more interesting and the thing is <laughs> with orton you know, because I said I didn't think they would turn Owens on Cody because I thought it might take the uh, the bloom off the rose when they did it with Orton eventually. But now with Orton kind of being sucked into this and getting pickled in the face or whatever, it might give him more ammunition when he finally does, and that's a WrestleMania main event or SummerSlam or whatever the big show it may be, where he's like, look, I even tried to help you with fucking Owens. And all I got for it was punched in the fucking face or whatever. So let's see where it's going, but at least it's, it's more interesting than, than if Owens had just come out there and kicked him in the balls on television. We've kind of seen that a lot here in let, well, not, not just from Owens, but from everybody. 